Um, campus ministry is very important to me. When I came here freshman year, um, Ms. Fisher had um, was asking people to join, and you know it was it's like about your faith, and you do different projects, you do service hours, which include like from going to different churches and giving confirmation for eighth graders or younger, or it could also mean like you go to different churches and celebrate different religions, and that's what I like to do. I have a very strong faith, and I like to experience everybody else's religions also, even if I don't have that religion. And it's always fun because we get to wear our purple shirts, so you know we're standing out in the crowd uh, to say we know we're serving God, but of course we're all serving God. Um, it's just always been fun to know you have, and we did retreats, which is also a really fun. We got to do retreats with younger kids, uh, freshmen. Uh, we did a, um, a confirmation retreat, which was really fun. Um, the kids really did, they knew the Bible story, some of them didn't. Um, but it, it was fun. Well, campus ministry is a lot of fun. I've been involved um, since the ending of my freshman year. So in there, we kind of go outside of the school a lot of times and help out with different retreats and fun activities where we go and host them. And I've been involved in a lot of those since I've been in campus ministry. I like to live the gospel more than most of my friends do. They find like, oh, why do you do that? And stuff like that. I see it as it's not as a ticket to go to heaven. It's something fun to do that also is good for others. We went and did a retreat for St. Michael's. And at St. Michael's, it was a confirmation retreat. And so we had a little icebreaker game where they had to unlink themselves into a big circle. And then after that, we went around, told them stories and stuff. And then when we left, the next day came and we got a good review from the school. They talking about how the kids were going around, telling their parents, telling their friends, telling everybody about how the campus ministry from St. Francis did a good job. I went to food, one food pantry this year, and it was fun. I helped like the less fortunate that didn't have that much food, and I learned like a lot about like their situations and everything and I felt good helping them. To me, uh, campus ministry means helping other children, like other high school students, well, with, you know, problems with religious life, something like, stuff like that. Sophomore year this year, I got to give a retreat for the freshmen, which was also fun because you get to plan and also learn as well with them. And um, what we did was we talked about um, what was important in their life and how God represented their life and how God was important and should always stay in their lives to help them continue through life. So that was good. We also got to go and feed, uh, you know, the food pantry. I've always thought that, you know, you, t you smile, you shake a hand, you give them the food bag. I never actually saw the process in which it takes to put the food in the bag, how much uh, kindness and love that you put into each each piece, but it, it was a good experience for me. Well, with my experience, I've come to learn new things about the Christian faith and to learn new things about how other people view it. I've also came to like better, it also gave me the ability to speak to other people about certain things because before I couldn't talk to nobody. I would always mumble, talk underneath my breath. I couldn't stand in front of a large group of people. But with the campus ministry, I've learned how to talk, be confident, tell other people how I see things and listen to their viewpoints and compare them together and then come up with a solution to better help both of us to understand it. Um, it makes me feel like I'm a better person because I'm helping other people and that's what I love to do. I love to help other people and it's very important to me um, to help because I feel that I would want someone to help me if I was in need and I would want someone to take care of me or you know make me feel important so that's what I try to do to others. I like doing like food pantry, helping out with the church, um, going to uh, help out my elementary school and 
if someone needs help and I don't even know the person, I'll always offer help to a stranger. So I think by doing all the extra stuff and helping out all the different people actually kind of opens a new door almost where it's like showing that this good things actually teach you in life that when it comes to you see a person you might never even know and you see they're upset or depressed it kind of tells you even if you don't know them still go up to them and ask them how are you doing how are you feeling and that's kind of what it opens up to me.